Just a quick video because I finally managed to fix my K57 Corsair keyboard. After weeks of troubleshooting, literally weeks of troubleshooting, it's finally working. Uh, I don't know what happened, but one day the backlight stopped working, multimedia keys, hotkeys, G keys, everything just stopped working. Uh, theme for this video, stopped working. Uh, the actual keyboard worked, but by this stage it was just an expensive keyboard. Uh, all that was really happening was that these three lights here were flashing, taunting me. Uh, here's a video I sent to Corsair just so you can get an idea. Where's my mouse? Just flash, flash, flash. Really, really helpful. Uh, so this is what my ICUE looked like when I was having these issues. Uh, as you can see, my keyboard is unavailable even though it was plugged in and turned on. I had two different firmware updates for some reason. I tried updating the firmware, it got to 100% and, and that was it. And for some reason I was showing two keyboards. So I went to the support page about resetting the keyboard. Uh, this is both a wired and wireless keyboard. So I tried all of this. I've tried, I've tried this so many times. Um, I've tried the uh, unplug it, hold down escape, plug it back in. Uh, same with function F4. I've been on forums, I've watched every YouTube video, I've read every YouTube comment, I've tried some weird key combinations and I've just had no luck. I managed to catch a Mew, but that was it. Uh, so I tried uninstalling ICUE, um, and there are some instructions available online suggesting to delete the Corsair Utility Engine folder through RegEdit. And once again, no luck. So I sent an email to Corsair support and their instructions were basically what was on the troubleshooting page about resetting your keyboard. So after a few emails, they finally decided to replace my keyboard under warranty, which is annoying, but I was hopeful the new one would work. Uh, but then I asked about manually updating the firmware and for some reason they sent me this. Uh, I've told them I've tried this at least three times, but I'll put this in the video description. Uh, so. I thought I'd give this a one more go. What have I got to lose? So I uninstalled ICUE. I go to RegEdit. There we are. Um, and instead of deleting this Corsair Utility Engine folder, I deleted everything Corsair related. Uh, I don't have any other Corsair hardware, so I just uh, went with it. I unplugged and turned off my keyboard, I restarted my computer, and reinstalled a new version of ICUE. I turned on my computer, I uh, turned on my keyboard, plugged it back in, and updated the firmware, and it works. I don't know why or how it worked this time. Um, maybe it was deleting that Corsair folder, I'm not too sure. Uh, but I have read that there have been some issues with Bluetooth on this keyboard that can cause the problems that I have experienced, so be wary with that. But good luck, hopefully you don't need to spend hours troubleshooting like I did, and hopefully this helps. Best of luck and a cheerio, Japs.